Stephen Gray, Time Magazine's Detroit correspondent, and I'm here with one of America's most prolific crime novelists, Elmore Leonard. Elmore, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Our first question comes from Ben Doty in Sycamore, Illinois, and he asks, of the films based on your novels, which is your favorite? I say uh, Jackie Brown, which uh, Tarantino did. I think it's the closest adaptation of the book. He really, he surprised me. I thought he might be all over the place when he's going to make the, uh, the picture. And the book was Rum Punch. And um, he stayed very, very close to the plot all the way and used quite a bit of the dialogue. Any, uh, any other favorites? Going way back, I liked Ombre with Paul Newman. And I liked uh, Valdez's coming, Burt Lancaster. Two of mine have been done twice. 310 to Yuma in 56, and again last year, and The Big Bounce in 69, where I said this is, must be the, about the second worst movie ever made. And uh, then again, about uh, 204, say, 2004. And then that became the worst picture I had ever seen. Because? It was terrible. <laughs> you didn't know what was going on. Kevin Ferreter in Helena, Montana asks, how do you feel about authors who refuse to let their published works be adapted into films? I think they're crazy. Because? It could be good. And profitable. And profitable, sure. I always think the movie they're, they're going to make is going to be good. And sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. So hmm. it doesn't... Um, put me in any kind of a mood. I just, all right, it was good or it wasn't, you know. Uh, Lindsay Markham from Sugarland, Texas asks, how does Detroit rate as a lit noir city? And what about it is inspiring to you? Well, I've lived here since 1934. I, I've used Detroit because I live here, because I remember uh, parts of it that uh, were important in the past. And, and, and I know the city. But Detroit is perfect for me. Once I got down to the 1300 Bobian, the police headquarters, and was introduced to a, a homicide squad, Squad 7, this was, on, this was because the, uh, the Detroit News wanted me to do a Sunday piece on homicide. I spent three weeks with Squad 7. This was the hot squad at that time. To me, it was fascinating. This is the real thing. And they'd call me in the evening. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a homicide and give me the location. And I'd meet them there and watch what was going on. So I'll make a couple of arrests. Xin Ping from Beijing asks, how do you write your novels? By computer, typewriter, by hand? By hand. Explain the process. Every, every word is written by hand. I mean, I... When I re start to retype again, I mean, I write by hand and then uh, say, I'll uh, write a scene. It, perhaps uh, maybe not able to finish the scene, but it, I, I've uh, run out of things to say. So then I'll type it, put it on my electric typewriter. But it took me 20 years to buy an electric typewriter, typewriter because I was afraid it would be too sensitive. And I like to bang the, the, the keys, <laughs> you know. I'm, I'm doing action stories. <laughs> Do you use a computer at all? No, I don't have one. I don't have uh, email or anything like that. No uh, email. I have a fax machine. <laughs> <laughs> Usman Hotiana in Lahore, Pakistan asks, if you were to carry out one perfect crime, what would it be? Oh. I'd probably rob a bank. <laughs> because it's probably the easiest. You think? I think so. Why? Well, if, you, if, you, if someone asks you for money and shows a threat in some way, you're supposed to give them the money. <laughs> you can give them a dye pack. You can give them, you know, something that will get him caught, but you should give them the money. Do you ever catch yourself plotting around the characters rather than letting them tell their own story? They're going to tell their own story. That's, that's, they're going to tell who they are. I don't mean tell, they're going to show who they are. That will become part of the plot. They're all one. 
what, at what point do you know you've got the the it character? You know, what's your aha moment? Yeah, once I get a character, I uh, I think I can. There are places to go with the character. You know, you just because I make up my book as I go along. I like to always use the character's point of view, and leave me out of it. I don't want. I'm not going to use a word that my characters wouldn't use or know. You know, I'm not because I I can't write in a literary way where my sound is what you're reading. The important thing to me is the way I write, the way I let things flow, the way I let ideas uh, come along, the the way I I will maybe spend three pages on a scene and all and I and I think you know what you're doing you're writing you're trying to write instead of just approaching it differently get a different attitude and then all of a sudden I get into it and it starts to uh, flow in a way that uh, that I know it'll work I can keep going you know well sir thank you so much for your time I really appreciate it so. Steven thank you